Today's video is on St. Peter's Basilica. As we make our way to the eternal city of Rome, we of course will be visiting one of the most famous places in the world, known as St. Peter's Basilica. I'd like to put this in a context though. St. Peter's Basilica is not just a church building. It's not just a place where people go to mass. It also is a mausoleum. The reason that St. Peter's Basilica is where it is, why it is located in the Vatican, is because it is literally built upon the burial place of St. Peter, the first pope, who we hail to be the Prince of the Apostles and the visible manifestation of the church continuing here on earth. That's why St. Peter's Basilica is so very, very important. You see, when St. Peter was crucified on a cross upside down by Emperor Nero, his body was then taken down and he was buried in the Vatican cemetery gardens. So the word Vatican predates the church. It was a cemetery. St. Peter was buried among other pagans, other Romans, uh, and other people that had been also sometimes brutally killed in the Circus of Nero, just like he had been. Then around the year 324, they built the first basilica of St. Peter's. It was built directly upon uh, the tomb of St. Peter. They literally leveled other uh, tombstones and monuments to the dead to literally build the basilica directly up upon the grave site of St. Peter. After 800 years or so, uh, the basilica began to fall in disrepair and you see currently uh, the basilica that was built uh, in honor of St. Peter. It is the largest church in the whole entire world and at the very, very center of it, you have the main nave, and then you have the two transepts that come off of it. In the very center of it, directly underneath the altar, are the bones of a 70-year-old man who is crucified upside down. We come to this church, not because of its architecture, not because of its art, not because of what popes have done, but because who is buried there? And it is St. Peter. It is the fisherman. It is the one who proclaimed Christ to be the Messiah. It is the one who was called by Christ to receive the keys of the kingdom of heaven. As we come into this very, very historic building, we need to know why we are going there, to pray at the tomb and to pray at a place that is so very, very sacred and essential to our faith. The one who has chosen to lead the faith, the one who was a sinner, the one who denied our Lord three times, is the one that we desire to be with. For one day we desire to be with him and with our Lord forever. Let us keep in mind this understanding of who St. Peter is, this understanding of why Rome is so important then, and why this church is so sacred.